Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a video-like summary of the Germany Weimar Republic hyperinflation um, that peaked around 1923. Here I have a banknote from Germany. If you're not familiar with German, I took a German class in high school. Um, it looks like it says Zane Million Mark, so uh, Zane is 10 in German, so it's 10 million marks, and uh, dated uh, in Berlin, um, August 1923. So, it has some history behind it, very old banknote. Basically, um, Adolf Hitler rose to power as a consequence of the hyperinflationary pressure. This was at least one of the reasons, so it's a very important um, thing to mark off in Germany's history. Prices doubled every 3.7 days, and inflation stood at 29,500%. Germany was crippled with the reparation payments after the Treaty of Versailles and the end of World War I. Beginning in August 1921, Germany began buying foreign currency with marks at any price, but that only increased the speed of breakdown in the value of the mark. The lower the mark sank in international markets, the greater the amount of marks were required to buy the foreign currency demanded by the Reparations Commission. During the first half of 1922, the mark stabilized at about 320 marks per dollar. This was accompanied by International Reparations Conference, including one in June 1922, organized by U.S. Invest investment banker J.P. Morgan, that is our buddy. When these meetings produced no workable solutions, the inflation changed to hyperinflation, and the mark fell to 800 marks per dollar by December 1922. The cost of living index was 41 in June 1922 and 685 in December, the increase of more than 15 times. In January 1923, French and Belgian troops occupied the Ruhr, an industrial region of Germany in the Rural Valley, to ensure that the reparations were paid in goods, such as coal from the Ruhr, and other industrial zones of Germany because the mark was practically worthless, it became impossible for, German, for Germany to buy foreign exchange or gold using paper marks. Instead, reparations were paid in goods. Inflation was exacerbated when workers in the war went on a general strike and the infl in the General inflation was exacerbated when workers in the rural went on a general strike. Sorry about that. And the German government printed more money in order to continue paying them for passively resisting. By November 1923, the American dollar was worth four billion two hundred ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Thinking too small here. It was worth four trillion two hundred ten billion five hundred million German marks. It's a big number there. Um, as a result of hyperinflation, there were new there were news accounts of individuals in Germany suffering from a compulsion called zero stroke, a condition where the person has a desire to write endless rows of zeros and engage in computations more involved than the most difficult problems in logarithms. So basically, they experienced the common type of hyperinflation where they just add their zeros to the currency, and it becomes worthless. And then when it became worthless, as you've seen, they paid their, their rep reparations, which is their payments. They paid their payments in uh, goods and commodities. And that is a quick summary of the Germany hyperinflation. Thank